Good evening, children. Children, in the previous class, we have done the chapter, we were doing the chapter of modern age in Europe, that is Renaissance. And you ought to be knowing the syllabus of that, that is causes, new trade routes, invention of the printing press and impact on art, literature and science. Leonardo da Vinci, William Shakespeare and Copernicus. These topics we have to study. Now, the first point. What do you mean by Renaissance? The term Renaissance is derived from the Latin word Renaissance. This word means rebirth or revival of the study of the Greek and the Roman classics. Next point, causes of Renaissance, capture of Constantinople, decline of feudalism, discovery of new trade routes, a spirit of inquiry and the invention of the printing press. So we have to do only capture of Constantinople, discovery of new trade routes and invention of the printing press. And we have done these topics. So now, let's move. Now in short, I would like to tell you about the, in short only, all the points are here. So now after this, we should be talking about what was the impact of Renaissance on art. Impact of Renaissance on art and paintings. So let's talk about that. Impact of Renaissance. First of all, we talk about art. See. Uh, art in the Middle Ages was dominated by the church. Art in the Middle Ages was dominated by the church. It attached great importance to moral virtues and mysteries of the faith. It was used to decorate cathedrals. Its subjects were Christ, Mary and the saints. It was not realistic and natural. But the Renaissance art was dominated by the spirit of naturalism and humanism. Great stress was, was laid on beauty, grace, elegance, harmony of shades and balanced form. It was real and life like the artists were now interested in man and his activities in this world see hum log art of painting ki baat kare if i just talk about the concept of art of painting see uh, though the schemes were still religious abhi bhi jo themes hoti thi jiske basis pe puri planning chalti thi the themes were still religious Yet the figures were true to life and the painters attached great importance to the beauty of human body. Paintings known as frescoes were painted on plastered walls. Oil painting was also invented. The Italian painters so many are there, but we have to study only about Leonardo da Vinci. Uh, so that time, uh, during that time, the Italian painters such as uh, Similu and Giotto paved the way for a new school. They combined homely incidents with religious themes. Their paintings reflected a sense of humor and love for realism. Though the subject matter was Christian, Yet the spirit of humanism prevailed in them. This is the most important person and that is Leonardo, de, Leonardo da Vinci. Leonardo da Vinci was a versatile genius of Florence in Italy. He was a painter, sculptor, architect, engineer and a scientist. His Mona Lisa, The Last Supper, 
the virgin and the child are the master pieces of art they reveal his mastery in color shade light and the background they are matchless in revealing inner beauty and grace other one was michael and jello although it is not in your syllabus michael and jello was another genius of many talents he was a painter a sculptor architect and a poet he was famous for his remarkable frescoes on the ceiling of sistine chapel the next person is rafael rafael was also a renowned painter poet sculptor and architect sistine madonna was his masterpiece in painting sistine madonna was his masterpiece in painting titian of venice excelled in oil paintings and had great mastery over light shade and coloring acha in sab ke alawa bhi kai sare painters the jiska main naam nahi yaad ho raha just i am taking the names but we don't have to remember they are alrecht durer and holbein of germany valsequiz murillo and il greco of spain rubens and van of holland were the magnificent painters ye jitne bhi the sare remarkable the but we don't have to learn all the names after that hum log ko jo point yaad karna hai wo michael angelo wala yaad karna hai we have to remember michael angelo okay after that uh, in the uh, in the books of cms or uh, total history Uh, this rafael is given and along with that a asterisk sign is also given it means that it is meant only for your information not for learning part now my next point is impact of renaissance on literature see in the middle ages literature was dominated by religion and was written in latin but the renaissance writers wrote about man his interests and nature they became interested in this world rather than in the future life as was the as was the case with the scholars of the middle ages during the middle ages all writings were in latin but the writers of this era use the common language of the people and that was vernaculars vernacular language and the language of the people became the language of literature see this comment is samjho jo bhi bhasha whichever language the people are able to understand the people are using that language will become only the language of literature अगर हम लोग भारत में हिंदी या अंग्रेजी को छोड़ के किसी दूसरी भाषा में किताब बहुत अच्छी भी किताब लिखते हैं तो भारत में वो किताब नहीं चल पाएगी क्यों क्योंकि यहाँ के लोगों की भाषा वो नहीं है सी सबसे पहले हम लोग बात करते हैं लिटरेचर इन इटली मैकैबिली वॉज अ ग्रेट पॉलिटिकल राइटर ऑफ इटली ही डेवलप्ड पॉलिटिकल आइडियाज and expressed them in his chief work unka jo chief work tha that was prince in his chief work the prince which served as a guide for the rulers aur jo bhi log raja hote the wo inki is kitab ko zarur padhte the jaise bharat mein chanakya ki likhi kitab arth shastra ki value hai usi tarah unke wahan pe is kitab the prince ki value thi iske baad Dante's divine comedy is an epic though the theme is the state of the soul after the death yet it reveals human love love of the country and the desire for a free 
and united Italian nation. It helps us to understand the religious and social life of the day. The next point is Petrarch. P-E-T-R-A-R-C-H. Although it is not in your syllabus, but you should be aware of his name. Petrarch, a great scholar and writer, has been called the father of humanism. Remember this? Petrarch has been called the father of humanism. His sonnets and lyrics made Italy supreme in European literature. <clears throat> His poems deal with the economic, social and political aspects of a man's life. Okay, children, tell me what do you mean by sonnet? Define sonnet. Dipyanshu, Janvi, Aditi, Charu, tell me the answer. What do you mean by a sonnet? Yes, any one of you mentioned the answer. What do you mean by sonnet? Charu Singh, Aditi. Okay, a uh, sonnet is a short poem of 14 lines. Sonnet is a short poem of 14 lines and the last words are rhyming words. It means that the sound of AB a, 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 comes. Okay, I was telling you about the concepts of Petrarch, a great scholar and a writer has been called the father of humanism. His sonnets and lyrics made Italy supreme in European literature. His poems deal with the economic, social and political aspects of man's life. He collected all the classics of Rome and roused the interest of people in the writings of Levi, Virgil and Cicero. Ariosto and Tasso were also po famous poets of Italy. They composed Orlando Furioso and Jerusalem delivered respectively. Is when you say famous so you would have heard this name. The name is Boccaccio. B O double C A double C I O. You all would have heard this name. Boccaccio was the father of Italian prose. His greatest works was De Cameroon, a collection of hundred short stories, which is considered one of the world's greatest books. Now, after this, let's move to the point of literature in England. My point is literature in England. See, uh, English literature, English literature reached the heights of the height of its glory. In the Renaissance era, Chaucer. Children, are the topics clear? Just mention your answer, yes or no. 
uh, I was talking about English literature. English literature reached the heights of its glory in the Renaissance era. Chaucer was the father of English poetry. Dhyan rakhna point. Chaucer was the father of English poetry. The Canterbury Tales is his outstanding work. Jo sabse acha kaam hai. Chaucer ka wo hai. Canterbury Tales is the outstanding work of Chaucer. Thomas More was the author of Utopia. In this book, he give a description or we can say that through his book, he has provided a description of an imaginary island in America wherein was prevailing a society devoid of all evils. Scientifically planned houses and where the rich did not exploit the poor. The society has no blind faith and it was disinterested in useless wars. Thus with the help of Utopia, Thomas More tried to wash the ills of the society. He criticized both the society and government of the day. If I talk about other English writers of the Renaissance period were Francis Bacon, Shakespeare, Ben Jonson, Marlowe, etc. Francis Bacon was a famous essay writer. Shakespeare, Ben Jonson, Marlowe were the renowned dramatists. Shakespeare's work have never been excelled in any language. Paradise Lost. That was Paradise Lost. Paradise Lost is an immoral work of Milton. Spencer is the author of graceful poem named Fairy Queenie. So these are the points. Now, we have studied about the literature in England. We have talked about William Shakespeare. Okay, we have talked William Shakespeare. We haven't talked about him. If we have William Shakespeare, in the ICSC board children, you all can see uh, that uh, in your classes 9, 10th, 11th, 12th, or even in your junior, you would have read the stories which are concerned with William Shakespeare. अगर हम लोग विलियम सेक्सपियर की बात करें तो इसमें हमें जो मेन चीजें याद करनी होगी देखो ही वाज एन इंग्लिश पोइट प्लेराइट एंड एक्टर एंड इज वाइडली रिगार्डेड और इनको माना जाता है सबसे बड़ा राइटर अंग्रेजी भाषा का ही इज कंसीडर्ड एस द ग्रेटेस्ट राइटर इन द इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज और जो इनके वर्ल्ड इनके जो काम है वर्ल्ड में इन द एंटायर वर्ल्ड there is no person whom he can be compared. Means he was a preeminent dramatist. He has written poems also. But his poems, if we do the comparison, then we find that all his dramas have reached on the peak of literature. Uh, in go England ka national poet bhi kaha jata hai and the bard of Avon. He wrote 38 plays, you know, total 38 plays written. 154 sonnets, two long narrative poems, and a few other verses. If we talk about plays and dramas, then we Romeo and Juliet, this is a movie. Shakespeare's first plays, which was the first phase of the first phase of William Shakespeare, was the historical. I mean, history is related to the topics like Richard II, Henry VI and Henry V. Iske baad ye comedies pe hai. He also wrote several comedies during his early period. A Midsummer's Night, Much Ado About Nothing, ye aapke slabus mein thi, Much Ado About Nothing, ye ab nahi hai, uh, As You Like It thi, and Twelfth Night, you will study in your class twelfth. Ye twelfth pe pehre chalte thi. It was only after 1600 that he wrote tragedies. 
और करीब 1600 लिखने के बाद इन्होंने ट्रेजडी लिखनी स्टार्ट करी फॉर एग्जाम्पल हैमलेट किंग लियर ओथेलो एंड मैकबेथ ये सारे इनके बाद का फेज था देखो इनकी जो विलियम शेक्सपियर की जो इंपॉर्टेंस थी वो क्या थी कि ये जो भी लिखते थे ये कई सारे कल्चर्स को एक साथ लिख के लेके चलते थे ये इमोशंस के साथ थॉट्स के साथ ये इनके ह्यूमन नेचर जो होता है कि जो भी आपके थोड़ा सा इमोशनल होगा जो थॉट्स रिलेटेड होगा उसको यूनिवर्सल अपील मिलेगी मीन सटेन यूड हैव सीन सटेन मूवीज ऑल्सो और सच काइंड ऑफ कैरेक्टर्स जहाँ पे इमोशंस को इंट्रोड्यूस किया जाता है एंड वाई आर द इमोशंस इंट्रोड्यूस सो दैट इट कैन अटेन द पॉजिटिविटी ऑफ द मासस जिससे उसमें लोगों का जो इंटरेस्ट है वो बढ़े तो दैट वॉज द रूट कॉज आफ्टर दिस लेट्स मूव टू अब थोड़ा सा हम लोग साइंस और टेक्नोलॉजी की बात करें थोड़ी बहुत साइंस और टेक्नोलॉजी ऑल्सो वी शुड टॉक अबाउट ओके इम्पैक्ट ऑफ रेनेसा ऑन साइंस सी फ्यूडलिज्म डोमिनेटेड फ्यूडलिज्म डोमिनेशन ऑफ द चर्च एंड ब्लाइंड फेथ्स ऑफ द पीपल इन सुपर नेचुरलिज्म मिस्ट्रीज एंड सुपरस्टिशंस स्टूड इन द वे ऑफ द प्रोग्रेस ऑफ साइंस Roger Bacon was the first person to lay stress on original thinking and scientific investigations this led to the development of scientific spirit and new inventions which brought about a revolution in political economic socio and cultural life सबसे पहले हम लोग बच्चों बात करते हैं एस्ट्रोनॉमी के ऊपर लेट्स टॉक अबाउट एस्ट्रोनॉमी सी इफ वी टॉक अबाउट एस्ट्रोनॉमी अकॉर्डिंग टू पटोलमी सिस्टम द सन द मून एंड अदर स्टार्स मूव्ड राउंड द अर्थ बट ए साइंटिस्ट ऑफ पोलैंड नेम्ड कॉपर निकस बट ए साइंटिस्ट ऑफ पोलैंड नेम्ड Copper Nicus. He was from fourteen seventy three to fifteen forty three. Proved that the Earth was round, and the Earth, the Moon, and the other stars moved round the Sun in a circle. Later on, a German scientist, John Kepler, he was from fifteen seventy one to sixteen hundred thirty C.E. Proved. that the earth and other planets moved round the sun not in a circle but in a elliptical orbits iske alawa italian scientists galileo invented telescope sir isaac newton discovered the law of gravitation in logon ne is type ke ventures kiye the acha thodi si agar hum log galileo ki baat kare to Galileo was not only an astronomer, but also a great physics physicist. Aristotle believed that heavier bodies fall at a rapid speed than the lighter bodies. Galileo challenged this theory. Galileo challenged this theory, and successfully proved. that the speed of the falling bodies depends upon distance and not on weight he also invented thermometer and hydrostatic balance and laid the foundation of modern dynamics a thodi se agar hum baat kare chemistry aur medicine ki a bit on chemistry and medicine See, Vesalius and Harvey laid the foundation of modern anatomy. Vesalius gave a correct picture of human body, while Harvey proved 
that the functioning of the human body depends upon the circulation of blood. Paracelsus proved a close connection between medicine and chemistry and used chemicals for medicinal purpose. And that is a factful thing that whatever whichever medicines are made, there is a con connection between the medicine and chemistry. Usme chemicals use hote hain medicinal purpose ke. Goddess prepared ether from alcohol and sulfuric acid. Helmont discovered CO2 that is carbon dioxide. Uh, thodi si baat kare mathematics ki to. Uh, mathematics mein the Arabs gave. The Arabs gave algebra uh, and numerals to the West. Western scientists discovered different kinds of equations. Modern geometry was made systematic by Desargues. Descartes' division analytical geometry. Stephen advocated decimal system of coins, vagues and measures. Though is kalawabi kaisara inventions or discoveries with you some. Uh, for example, telescope, microscope, printing press, gun powder and hand gun and mariner's compass were the important inventions of the renaissance. The scientific progress made in the renaissance era laid the foundation of a modern science. Achha. In these subtopics, if I will summarize in a short way or at a glance, ki baat karu, the lesson at a glance. Mein. So, firstly, you should be knowing the definition of renaissance. Yes, children? Just send me the definition of renaissance. I am waiting for a response. Charu, Janvi, Aditi and Divyanshu. Send me the definition of Renaissance. Send it fast, children. I am waiting for a response. Okay, no problem. I am just doing the in a shot. Let's take a glance. Renaissance. The word Renaissance means rebirth or revival of the study of the Greek and the Roman classics. It was the rebirth of freedom loving, adventurous thought of man. Abelard, Roger Bacon and Thomas Aquinas were the forerunners of this period. Agar hum baat karein. Okay, both the children have sent Janvi and Charu. Good. What others are doing? What is Aditi Chaturvedi? You are not sending your answer. And Divyanshu Mishra, you haven't sent your answer. Now, if I talk about the causes of renaissance, contribution of original thinkers, the decline of feudalism, capture of Constantinople, new trade routes, invention of the printing press and a spirit of inquiry. These were the main causes. If I talk about impact of Renaissance literature, Machiavelli, Dante, Petrarch, Levi, Virgil, Cicero, Ariosto, Tasso and Boccaccio made significant contributions to the literature of Italy. English literature reached the height 
of its glory in the Renaissance era. After this, uh, if I talk about impact of Renaissance on art, so as you know, art in the Middle Ages was dominated by the church. The themes of the paintings were religious, but the figures were true to life and the painters attached great importance to the beauty of the human body. The sculptures of the Middle Ages carved faces, hands and draperies. The architects of Italy discarded the Gothic style. Music flourished along with other arts. And children, if I talk about the impact of Renaissance on art or uh, impact of Renaissance on science, then uh, Ptolemy proved Ptolemy proved that the sun, the moon and the other stars moved round the earth. Galileo invented telescope, the thermometer and hydrostatic balance. Helmont discovered carbon dioxide. Stephen advocated the decimal system. Now children, uh, we have finished off this chapter. Now it's the turn for questions. Okay, now let's move to the questions. Okay. Okay, children, the question. You can see on your screen. What is the connection between the invention of the printing press and the spirit of Renaissance? What is the connection between the invention of the printing press and the spirit of Renaissance? Send your answer, children. I'm waiting for the answer. Janvi, Charu, Shubhi, Aditi. Shubham. Okay. The answer for this question is the invention of the printing press made the books easily available and cheap. Thus, education began to spread among the masses. In other words, printing press facilitated the spirit of Renaissance. 
Now the next question. How did Renesa led to geographical explorations? How did Renesa led to geographical explorations? Okay, now send me this answer. How did the Renesa led to geographical explorations? Where is Charu? Shubhi Yadav? Okay. Now let's talk about this answer. The age of Renesa, the age of Renesa fostered a spirit of adventure among the people of Europe to explore unknown distant lands in different parts of the world. Prince Henry became a pioneer in the field of such geographical explorations. Now see the next question. Which explorer preached Calicut Kali in 1498 Okay the answer for this question is Vasco da Gama. Good. Good, Charu. At least we have given the first answer today. Vasco da Gama reached Calicut in 1498. Now the next question. Name any two famous explorers of the Renaissance period. Famous explorers of the Renaissance period. Yes, children, send your answer. Okay. Okay. Uh, I've asked you name of the explorers. The first name is Vasco da Gama. And the second one is Christopher Columbus. Two names, Vasco da Gama and Christopher Columbus. Okay, and children, tomorrow uh, I will be having an open class, open session uh, for the chapter of Renaissance. Okay, right answer. Now the other part. Who sailed first across the Atlantic Ocean? Who first across? Who sailed first across the Atlantic Ocean?
The answer for this question is Christopher Columbus. Christopher Columbus was the person. Now the next question. Who painted the portrait of Mona Lisa? Who painted the portrait of Mona Lisa? Give me the answer of question number 10. Who painted the portrait of Mona Lisa? Good. Now, the last question for today. What was the impact? It's the last question, so try to give the answer. What was the impact of Renaissance on literature? This is the last question for today. I need your answer. Okay, children, the answer for this question is it was the use of it was the use of local language. Yes, it gave birth to humanism and the spirit of inquiry and in these type of literature use of local language was made instead of the Latin language means jo janta ki bhasha thi uska istemal kiya gaya na ki na ki latin bhasha ka jo public ko samajh mein nahi aati thi so that's all for today children tomorrow we'll be having the open class open session on this chapter and you'll be getting the link on the fixed time nearly at 4:30 that is on google meet 